Mm. Woo! Hey, yo. That's strong. Cheers. You guys, I'm celebrating with the scotch and I want to tell you why. All of my videos prior to this had to be made in daylight. That was my lighting. You know, I'm a bitch on a budget. I decided to up my YouTube game and get the Ricky Loves Vicky, a new Ricky Loves Mickey. I'm gonna show it to you right now. It has all of these lighting settings down here. The mirror is gorgeous. It has this little magnetic piece for my phone so it makes it easier to record tutorials. Are you seeing how great the lighting is? I'm able to make videos at night. Perfect way to start things off because this video is all about my favorites right now. Tatcha is a Japanese brand. This is the Tatcha Violet C Radiance Mask. I know I shouldn't care about this, but look how fun the color of the mask is. If you don't want a purple mask, I don't know who you are as a person. Brightening Beauty Berry and Dual Vitamin C for all skin types. I interchanged this and my Honey Potion Mask. It stays super creamy. It doesn't dry on your face. It's perfect to use after you've done a purifying mask, after you've exfoliated, and you really want to replenish your skin and plump it back up again. Also so what is even happening with this packaging. I'm gonna take a warm cloth and just towel that off of my face. This is a perfect nighttime regimen. It's also something you could do to really moisturize your face before makeup application. Get all those little purple bits out of my nose. Man, I'll tell you what, that lighting is not gonna tell any lies, is it? The next thing I want to show you is also a Tatcha product. This is their The Essence. This is a plumping skin softener. It's essentially a serum. I use it right before I put on my moisturizer. As you can see, it's basically like a water. It feels exactly like water. It's not water though, I promise. Oh, and it just is so luxurious. It's like a drink of water for your skin. And you just let that sink in for a little bit before you put your moisturizer on. We all wake up relatively dehydrated in the morning. After using this in conjunction with this mask, my skin is hydrated when I wake up in the morning. It's crazy. Um, I don't know if you can see, but that's Abraham Lincoln dressed as a cowboy, so. Another side note about all the products I'm showing you today is that they are all cruelty free. This is my new Holy Grail moisturizer. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Magic Cream. God, her packaging just kills it every time. I got a sample of this in the mail a few months ago and I was so blown away by it that I just bit the bullet and got the actual product itself. Sometimes I even use this as my primer before makeup application. I use this night and day. I have noticed a huge difference in how hydrated my skin is. So good! You guys know how much I love the Glossier Solution. Glossier ran out of that product for a while, so I replaced it with this. This is the Ole Henriksen Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. I actually heard about this from Desi Perkins because she said she was having a, some acne issues and she started using this and it totally cleared it up. I have to say I have been having some breakouts on my chest, which that ain't cute, okay? I use this on my face and then I use it on my chest. Breakout's gone. So I'll use this before I do a mask or after I cleanse my face and before I put on my moisturizer at night. Next thing I wanna show you guys is the Mario Bodescu, Bodescu? Ooh, I don't know how to say that. Should've Googled that before I made this video. Facial mist. This is a great refresh in the middle of a work day. If you want super hydrated skin, I use this before I put on my moisturizer and before I put on my primer if you really, really want that moisture to hold. Mm. This giant bottle was $12. You can get a small bottle for seven. We're gonna move into my favorite makeup products right now. You guys, ColourPop is killing the game in all the ways. Just like their makeup, their brushes are an incredible bargain. I think this brush was like $11. You guys know how I feel about a beauty blender. This is also a great way to apply foundation. It's a dense bristle brush with a flat edge. I'm gonna show you how it applies with my NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer right now. I always put the product on my face first so that I waste less of it. Look how quick that is. It's just so nice. Also, new favorite thing on my head, Madewell makes these little scarf slash do-rags. They're $12.50 a piece and I'm obsessed with them. You guys can see how that allowed me to apply my makeup really, really quickly and it looks Great, it looks flawless. A color pop. Damn, that be hidden though. The next thing I wanna show you is a brand that's been around for years, but I just discovered it and I'm like, 
obsessed with it in a really unhealthy way. They're a totally non-toxic, cruelty-free brand. If you are a person who's very concerned with putting any sort of a chemical on your face, you need to get into RMS. They basically describe themselves as skincare with mineral color. The products that I have are their lip shines. What's so great about this company is that so many of their products can be used as other things. This is a lip shine, but I bought it in particular to use on my cheeks. The color is called Sacred. Wow, that is pigmented. To blend that out with the warmth of my finger, so you're basically getting a cheek color and a lip color in one. That basically just looks like I came in from skiing in the Tetons. Look at this natural glow that's going on and I haven't even put a highlighter on. That's just from all the products I've shown you thus far. I decided to try Glossier's Wouter, which is their sheer setting powder. This is my everyday powder now. I absolutely love it and I'm going to show you what's exceptional about it. This product has a trampoline in the middle of it. You put your brush in, you swirl it around, and you are not going to lose any product. Almost all of my loose powders, I just lose product by opening and closing them and it's so irritating. Glossier figured it out. Again, this is a ColourPop powder brush. You can see it's very natural. It's mattified the areas that I want to not look shiny, but you can see I still have retained that glow from all the moisturizer I've used. Sorry, I know I use boy brow in every single video, but I'm not gonna not use it, so. So if you don't live in New York City, you don't know this. Basically, the MTA makes you a prisoner to your own neighborhood on the weekends. It's actually a grand opening of a friend's business I wanted to go to today, but I couldn't go because literally all the trains in my area that would take me there are shut down. I'm over it. I don't go anywhere anymore. I'm just happier staying home. I avoid all the crazies, avoid all the tourists. No matter how hard you try not to suck as a tourist, you suck. Quick tips on how to be a better tourist. When you're using an escalator, one side is for people who want to stand and one side is for people who want to walk up the escalator. Move out my way. I will run you over. When you're using the subway and it's super packed, if there's any space in the middle, you need to move yourself into that area. Everyone move in. This isn't as important, but guys, stop wearing matching t-shirts. You're going to find each other. No one ever went to New York City and came back and said, we should have worn those matching t-shirts. I will never see mom again. You're gonna find each other. Stop matching your hideous clothes. But please enjoy your visit to New York. Okay, thanks, bye. I'm gonna bring back that RMS lip shine because this particular color I'm going to use on my lips. This color is called Sublime. This is just a really gorgeous, cool tone pink because I do love living that cool tone life. Look at that gorgeous pigment. I'm blown away by a company that's non-toxic and has this much pigment. RMS, I know you know I'm in a serious relationship with Glossier, but we could maybe go out for coffee or something. I'm not against it. This is one of their luminizers. This is the Champagne Rosé. Now I'm just gonna gently blend that in with my finger. I mean, that might be my favorite highlighter color I've ever seen. I'm gonna get that Cupid's bow. This is a great way to do that smoke and mirrors thing with your lips to make it look like they're plumper than they are. Skip the lip fillers and just go and get yourself some RMS, okay? What is even happening with that glow? That's insane. The last thing I wanna show you guys is something that I get compliments on almost every single day from complete strangers, my glasses. I have a collection of glasses and yes, these are a prescription. It is this company called Bon Look. I'll link it below. They're like $100 a pair and that includes a prescription. When I do beauty tutorials, obviously I'm never wearing glasses. So I just want to show you the other styles I have. I don't know if you can see, but these are fabulous and plaid. These I got on a crazy sale on their website for $25 and I'm not kidding you. I have the pink cat eye in a mint color as well. Got the classic sort of black tortoiseshell combination. And these are sort of an oversized style with teal on top and tortoiseshell on the bottom. If you think you can't be sassy in a pair of glasses, I just proved you wrong. So thank you guys so much for joining me for my springtime favorites video. I hope you found at least one thing Thing that maybe you want to try out. Mm. Woo! A little tipsy now. If you're new to this channel, please hit subscribe and click that little bell down below. You'll get updates whenever my new videos drop. Ooh, but that glow though. Okay. Mm. All done. Yeah.